Uh, well, Gareth, first thing to say, I think, really, is just how well things are going of late. You've won, um, you know, what is it, six out of seven or something like that, and it's fantastic, wouldn't you, at the moment? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's it's obviously something that we we're working hard to um, to continue because that's important. Um, we said winning's a habit, um, and no matter whether it's the FA Cup, whether it's uh, it's the league, uh, whatever, uh, it's important that you, that you sustain and um, and improve on. Um, and carry on the run of form that we've been in um, and go and take it into to each game you play. Was there something after maybe the Barrow defeat where then something changed where you thought, right, we can't have any more of that and then things have specifically changed, do you think? I don't think things have changed. I think the, the character lies within within the players and within the staff that, um, that everybody involved in the football club hates losing. Um, and that's that's something that you'll find um, hopefully through all successful teams that all all people who want to play football and want to be successful hate losing um, and it's a pride in your own um, performance uh, it's the way that you conduct yourself uh, from day to day not just on Saturdays because it don't get turned on and off like a tap um, it's it's the way that you go about working hard uh, kind of uh, improving strengths and working on weaknesses uh, in training um, and, and that's from a day-to-day -day thing, and that's that's why we've been having um, the success and the run of form that we've had, because the lads have have, have kind of um, really s stepped up to the plate and, and gone, yeah, we want to be successful, uh, and we want to go and work, and we want to go that extra mile um, for for the fans that that are obviously behind us and, and really backing us. You won't know this because over the last few years before you were here, Mansfield have often been a side who've been bullied. Yeah. Uh, out of games and have lost matches because they've been rolled over by bigger, stronger, more physical teams. It seems to be something that's changed under, under since you and David got here. That the side has become a lot more able to battle. How how big a thing has been that has that been for you to get the side, particularly in this division, to be able to compete yeah. with those stronger teams? Yeah, I think, uh, same as the gaffer said um, throughout the um, throughout the season, he he did a, a tremendous amount of work uh, pre-season interviewing people. Uh, seeing the characters, uh, not just kind of watching videos and, and, and bringing people in, uh, actually getting to know people. And it's important um, throughout the season, uh, we, it is a long season, that you know the characters of people um, and and their their heart and their desires to to a be successful, b to battle, uh, and three uh, and c to uh, to sort of improve themselves. Um, and and we've got that, and, and it's something that. That uh, the fans, the fans can now know that, that every time that a Mansfield Town team steps out onto the onto the pitch, one thing that they can rely on is 110 percent effort. Another thing that's key to that, I suppose, is the fitness levels. And I know in the summer, mm. uh, the players are working extremely hard. I know they have been throughout the start of the yeah. season as well. Does that ever calm down as the season gets on? When you start heading towards the winter months and you get the you know busy period over Christmas, do you lay off with that? Is that where you see the benefit of the hard work mm. previously, or? Do you just flog them all the way through the season? No, I think what you've got to do is um, is about rest and recovery. Uh, you can work at, um, hard at different times, um, and it's it's kind of a scale, you, uh, and that comes with your planning. Um, when we work to uh, to a schedule in which uh, we'll work the the lads hard for a certain time, and then give them the recovery because that's important. Um, if you flog somebody uh, for for the whole season, eventually it uh, kind of will break down, and you can't do that. Um, but it's important that, that you understand the methods behind it and, and say, right, this is when we're going to work hard, this is where we're going um, to kind of benefit on the games on Saturday through, um, through um, as work rate and through as uh, physical um, fitness um, and say, right, uh, this is when we're working hard, this is when we're going to slow it down, but when we are working, we're working hard. And when do you get the benefit? I mean, obviously you see the benefit towards the end of yeah. matches anyway when other yeah. teams tire, but really see the benefit. Are you thinking about maybe January time when maybe some of the part-time teams are really starting to struggle a bit? I think um, it's one or two things. Um, I think you see it uh, from, from week to week. Um, when you get tired, decision-making um, kind of changes um, or your decisions change because maybe oh, I can't make that run or I can't do this. Now, the, the players that we've got in the team are all physically fit, uh, tremendously fit, that, that those decisions that when you're tired, when, you, uh, when you're weaker, hopefully you're not as tired as the, the team that you're playing against. So you make better decisions uh, towards the end of the game, uh, which will allow you to, uh, to i.e. go and push on if you need to, or go and uh, consolidate if you have to. 
Um, and so we're looking forward to, to January and that'll be a good time when, um, like the Geffers always said, February is a time where you look at the business end um, and, and see where we are. And, and that's, that's one of the parts of the, uh, of the football club that we're, that we're pleased about, that, um, that we are physically fit, that we are capable to be able to deal, deal with uh, anything that's thrown against us. Um, and, and we'll be looking forward to February um, knowing that that will stand us in good stead. It's really interesting that you say all the, the physical work that they do and all that work they do in the gym will actually help them mentally when yeah. they're out on the football pitch. That's really bizarre kind of, kind of thing to say. Yeah, I think it's, um, again, like I've just said about the methods, um, it's, it's naturally, it's, um, whether, you work, um, whether you work at NASA, whether you work um, kind of um, in a trade, whether you work anywhere, um, you know what it's like if you if you hadn't had sleep uh, the night before and you're a little bit tired, um, you, you kind of think to yourself, goodness, I, I might not do this or I'll, I'll, or I'll go and do that. Uh, if you if you've had rest the night before and and uh, and you feel comfortable when you've been to the gym and, and you feel better yourself, um, your decision making do change, and that's important that the lads the lads understand which they do um, that when I'm physically fit and when I've had right and when I've slept correctly. Um, it gives you every possible chance on a Saturday to do your best. OK, let's talk about this weekend then, Histon yeah. coming here. It's going to be, I suppose, a similar kind of battle maybe to the sort of thing you, you faced against Altrincham. They're, they're uncompromising, shall we say, Histon, aren't they? Yeah, um, what you've got to do is give them uh, a lot of respect. Um, they're a good, good team, uh, good at what they do. Um, I've mentioned before that um, about when we, when we played them last year, um, we feel as though we're more capable to be able to deal with that now. Uh, deal with the uh, the style of play that that they want to pr um, kind of um, produce, um, and it's important that we go and match that. We go and match uh, the physical side, which we're a, we're a good, we're a very good uh, side at uh, at that, and, and we've got some great attributes in terms of physique. But also we uh, we've got a lot of good technical players, uh, and it's important on Saturday that we go and match them uh, for everything that they can give us and we go and uh, enforce our style and our philosophies on them games, uh, and especially on Saturday. And just finally, uh, you've got a player out suspended this week of course, I think yep. in Matt Somner, but you yep. also have a few players receiving stitches and getting elbows yep. to the face and all sorts of things last yep. week, so is there any other injuries, anybody who would like to be missing out this weekend do you think? Uh, no, no, other, uh, no other injuries, obviously we've got a couple, uh, couple already on the treatment table that you know about, um, but again going back to that, that shows you how much uh, the lads want to put themselves on the line to go and get uh, get a win, uh, and we've got a great squad at the minute where uh, players can come in and, uh, and go out, uh, and whoever comes in can do uh, a great job for the football club. Great stuff, thanks, guys. Cheers, thanks.